Surprise, mother fishers. Guess what? I said fishers. Number one. You thought you were just getting a Wells catfish and a bait boat? Wrong. Wrong. EW, the development team over at the Angler, decided they're going to throw in three secret fish into this patch without telling friggin' anybody. All right? It, I, it's just awesome. It's so cool. It's just a fun little surprise. I think I, I did, it's just... That's what I love, you know, just the fun little surprises like that. You can't beat it. Um, but, yes, yeah, so there's three secret fish, um, and <laughs> they're really cool. They're some of my favorite, actually, because um, they're after my own heart. Uh, they're A lot of them are panfish, a couple of them. Um, and that's kind of what I grew up fishing for, right? So I'll just break into it here. The first one, uh, the rock bass, I caught a silver, 1.151 pounds. 1.1, 1.5, 1 1.51 pounds for silvers. Diamonds aren't going to be much bigger than that. Uh, pretty small fish. You don't need a huge setup for it. Um, on the mat for the rock bass, um, I've seen golds in my sessions pulled out of here. Um, I was fishing up around here because I know you get like diamond and gold, bl gold bluegill up here. So I was looking up there. I didn't quite get anything. I didn't get a gold rock bass up here, but I my session... Earlier today, somebody got a gold out of somewhere in here. I don't remember exactly where. And I did see a diamond rock bass pulled out of this area, too, that was submitted to the trophy gallery. So check that out. Uh, small hooks. Small hooks. Size 8. Uh, 7 hook, maybe. Um, that's what I'm using. That's what I suggest here at the beginning. I don't have a set diamond hook, gold hook for you just yet because these fish just released yesterday. So that's what I would use. Use small hooks on these guys. But this whole area here seems to be good for the rock bass. Oh, we got something on the size 7 uh, bloodworm over here. I'm at, a, I'm at the next fishing spot. So we'll see if we can get the next fish here. We'll move into it here. Let's see what we can get. Now, I did catch a tiny... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. That was a weird little animation. I did catch a tiny little burbot over here earlier. I wonder if it's... That? Another tiny little burbot. Interesting. Okay. Um, next fish we're going to get into, boom, here, white crappie it is a night fish, so keep that in mind. It is a night fish, silver, 1.51 pounds, diamonds aren't much bigger, um, they're a few pounds bigger, they're just going to be smaller than smallmouth bass, you don't need a big setup for them, bloodworm works well, I've been using this lake mix, I've been baiting with the lake mix here, uh, just using the hand catapult, um, just to uh, get them in. And that seems to be... That was working pretty good. Um, white crappie. Awesome fish. Again, a fish after my own heart. Love to see it. I've caught a lot of white crappie in my life. So, that's awesome. Uh, as far as their diamond spots, I'm in a spot here. I've seen... In my session, I've only seen golds pulled out of this area. But people have posted diamonds from this area here. Here, I'll show you. Here's main outpost. Here's sleeping razor. And I've even seen people post diamonds off the dock. Um, as well. So this area here, white crappie, and I've been, I fished in here a little bit for white crappie and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad up there. Um, but definitely try here. Some big white crappie been pulled out of this area. And then the last of the three secret fish, freshwater drum. Now these guys, they're bottom lurkers. Okay. Bottom lurkers. They don't have a certain time of day but i will tell you 18.18 .18 pounds for silver i think diamonds i think they may go up to 30 pounds i think but these guys fight super hard and the models they seem maybe a little small they seem a little small for their size i don't know um but for the freshwater drum you're gonna want a bigger hook size i think i caught this silver on a size 2 shad so definitely check that out size 2 shad for these guys um, uh, and bigger. I think somebody cut their diamond off a one knot, so I know they at least go up to a one knot. Uh, but freshwater drum. Now they're also they're in a lot of places over here in the desert area. But they, I've seen a lot of people get golds off of here, and people have even posted diamonds caught around this island area here for the freshwater drum. So definitely check out this island. It really seems like this area here is kind of. 
kind of heating up, actually. I, mean, I've, I caught a lot of gold bluegill over here last night. Um, I'm kind of thinking this whole area is going to kind of be popping off. You know, whether it's drum, rock bass, bluegill. And I've seen a lot of sunfish in this area, too. I think this is going to be a nice little spot. Uh, not just for the new fish, but for the existing fish as well. So definitely check these spots out. Um, and then that's really it for the new fish. Again, bigger hooks for the freshwater drum. A one, a one, a two. Like I was using a size two for the silver. Um, but that's really uh, that's really it for the new fish that I've got so far. I haven't had a whole lot of time to fish for them yet. But those are some places to get you started. That's just your starter information um, to get you going on that. And as far as using the, the new baiting technique for the freshwater drum, I used hot dogs. I was I was using the hot dogs out of the catapult, a hand catapult. Um, and that worked. It seemed like it worked a little like pretty good. Uh, but that's really it for the three secret fish. So those are your three new secret fish. Again, the rock bass, small setup, great for a starter fish. White crappie, again, also small, great for a starter fish. And then your freshwater drum. That's more of your mid-range fish because if it's, you know, between 18, 30 pounds for silvers and diamonds, that's more of a mid-range fish. But that's it for your new fish. Now we'll move into the Wells catfish, the one that we all knew was coming, but we really weren't prepared for, I don't think. All right, so for the last fish, the Wells catfish, the one that we knew was coming, right? This thing's a monster. Um, I was planning on just getting, finally getting around to get my reputation up to get the best bottom fishing uh, pole. And uh, that, that plan has sped, been sped up. That plan got sped up real fast. So the Wells catfish, I, I mean, I've got, this is the strongest bottom feeder rod I've got. And the max line strength is 44 pounds. I'm seeing diamonds pulled out. I think Wizard had a diamond, uh, 153 pound Wells catfish. So I don't think this is going to cut it. So I'm going to have to spend some time. I got to get my reputation up. Because I got to get in here to the souvenir shop, get my reputation up to 500 so I can buy this rod, this bottom feeder rod here. Because the max line strength there is 66 pounds. It's, it's what's gonna, I'm gonna have to do that because I can't be, I can't be trying to pull in the 150 pound Wells catfish on that tiny little bottom feeder rod. Um, now, for spots uh the most popular spot i've seen um up here is the carp lake where you get the diamond carp kind of up in this area here uh here's this outpost here and uh really this area here where you get the diamond common carp has been very popular uh for the wells catfish now you're gonna want as far as hook size go one aught two aught three aught four aught um i see a lot of people using the one aughts so that's really what you're gonna want to focus on the one aught, three aught, two aught, three aught, four aught. Four aught's gonna be your diamond only. Um, one aught, I think. I think that's gonna be your bronzes and your silvers, but they're still gonna be monster fish. So I'm gonna work on getting my reputation up, reputation up before I start pulling these things in. Um, but that's where you're gonna want to go. Those are your hook sizes for the Wells catfish. You guys, you know, you guys have seen them. You guys know what they are. And I know some people are like, well, Wells catfish can get a lot bigger than 150 pounds. That's true. But in Spain, 150 is like, that's like they're big. That's like the biggest they get in Spain is like 150. I know there's been a couple maybe, but those are outliers that are bigger than that. 150 is, is pretty on par with how big the Wells catfish are in Spain. If you go to Italy, you know, it's a little bit different, you know. You go to other places, it's a little bit different, but definitely on par with uh spain as far as the weight goes but again this is probably this is the biggest fish in the game i'm pretty sure um it's an absolute monster you're gonna need a big setup for it if you are just starting out i would not even try for this do not even try for this fish if you like a challenge and you don't mind failing maybe try for it but if you want to if you get frustrated with not being able to land a fish, maybe this one's not for you. Maybe wait till the maybe wait till your higher level, you know, uh, to go for this fish. So, 
Again, they're a nighttime fish. They're a bottom feeder. Use a bottom fishing setup. Fish at night. That's your best bet. Um, right now, everybody's trying to go for these guys, so there's not very many night servers available uh, for the Wells Catfish. So maybe playing offline would be good. Uh, so that's going to be it for the last of our new fish. And there, there's one last thing I want to say about the wells, too. You remember with the wells, keep this in mind. Well, this is a half-decent one. Keep this in mind with the wells. It's a very small population. You're not meant to get a, like, you know, 20, 30 wells catfish in a day. You know, you're there's supposed to be a hard fish to get, hard fish to find. It's not, they're not meant to be a fish that you can just pull out, you know, five, ten in an hour. It's going to be, it's going to be a little while. You're going to be going a, quite some time between catching a Wells catfish, you know. Um, I had a couple, I had a couple of folks in my stream last night saying it took them, you know, maybe an hour between fish, um, between the Wells catfish. It can be tough. So keep that in mind. But that's the last of our new fish. Uh, the secret fish that were revealed. If you have any questions, um, if you have you know anything that you want to know, anything that I left out, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to that as soon as I possibly can. And I also want to know, what do you want to see in the next DLC, or at least in the net, one of the next big ones? What what do you want to see the most? Do you want to see like a trophy lodge? Do you want to see rare fish variations? We see competitions. What do you What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments too, because I'm really interested in this. It kind of seems torn. So leave your leave your answers there and any questions you might have about the new fish, and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one.